There is no place I'd rather be Than right here next to you And I truly love to talk about Your lovers old and new You never spare me details As you confide in me I smile and give advice But cannot tell you how I feel How easy it would be to fall for you But that of course is something I won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends Hi Queens! Welcome back to my channel We are in Hangzhou mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm honestly so tired To be quite honest, the flight was not that bad It was only two hours long Two hours and like 20 minutes if i'm not mistaken um but it's just it's a friday i'm tired i literally just got back from work took a shower zipped up my bag and headed to the airport so you can imagine there's no room service it ends at 10 30 and right now it's like half past 11. i'm hungry i asked them to <laughs> help me order mcdonald's what a way to start off my trip but it's okay i'm just gonna eat take a bubble bath and sleep we'll try again tomorrow my best friend she comes everywhere with me oh let's bring this along i don't wanna care so much because i really care too much it's all just overwhelming, I'm just overthinking I feel like I'm too much Keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition And stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition Logically night's rest i needed it last night i was so cranky like i was so cranky it's that time of the month i was very hungry and tired and i was just not in the mood to be quite honest so i think this is the time i should actually probably open the vlog <laughs> good morning queens or welcome back to my channel um there's probably an echo but this is the only place with proper lighting in the whole room um if you're new over here my name is lydia as accuse my manners i just woke up okay hence the outfit <laughs> um but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also go follow me on instagram it's lydia underscore msm this is how i sound when i wake up um it's giving very white <laughs> But yeah, anyway, welcome to my first travel vlog of the year. This is a solo trip. Yeah, I just needed this trip, yo. Like, I needed this trip, but do not want to lie. I don't want to sit here and chat and then miss breakfast. 
they said it ends at 10 o'clock but anyway i just want to give you the gist of how i actually settled on hangzhou initially my trip was supposed to be in sanya no, no, no. Initially, my trip was supposed to be um, Tianjin. Just a quick little trip to Tianjin. It's a 30 minute ride from Beijing. But then I was like, you know what? I've been to Tianjin before. And honestly, my last trip to Tianjin was so traumatic. <laughs> Only because while I was there, I had multiple panic attacks, anxiety attacks. And it was just a horrible trip. So I kind of have PTSD from that trip, you know? Um, so when I thought about it, I was like, mm, Tianjin doesn't cut it for me. I just need a place that's brand new, somewhere I've never been. But at the same time, I was like, I really feel like I want to be on the beach. I'm a very spiritual person. Honestly, when I'm flying, like when I'm on a flight and when I'm sitting on a beach, that's the most connected to God I feel. I don't know how to explain it, but it's rare for me to sleep through my flight especially if i'm flying in the evening i just feel like it's just a spiritual thing for me i just feel like i'm so connected to god and that's why i just pray i manifest i'm in conversation i don't even read a book listen to music especially if it's a solo trip obviously if you have company i'm gonna talk to my friend but for the most part if i am flying trust and believe i'm actually having conversations with god i'm praying i'm manifesting i'm singing I'm reciting my affirmations at my gratitude list i'm just like in sync throughout the whole flight and yeah so it's the same thing if i'm on the beach i feel like that's my opportunity to just talk to god there's just something about the sound of waves washing um on shore and just like receding back into the ocean i don't know what it is it's just like that rhythm of just hearing the waves crash on the beach and then slowly recede back to the into the ocean it's just so spiritual for me i don't know how to best describe it but that's just just the sound of 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 the ocean i just love it so i was like maybe that's what i need with you know what i've been going through over the past i could say the past two years were kind of rough but especially last year i'm um, just on a spiritual side so i was like okay maybe a trip let me go to sanya because i'm quite familiar with sanya and the last time i was there i didn't really enjoy myself and then i booked my sanya trip found a beautiful beachfront hotel whatever i booked it and then randomly my friend sent me an article <laughs> An article on WeChat, it was basically this couple that was upset because they were in Hangzhou and I don't know, they were in some fancy hotel, but it so happened that when they opened the curtain in the morning and they were butt naked, the window cleaner saw them, you know, in their birthday suits and they were very upset. But, you know, the first thing that jumped out to me was Hangzhou because I have probably heard of it before or seen it you know in articles or stuff or even someone's vlog i don't know i don't pay attention to hangzhou guangzhou suzhou <laughs> some of them just sound the same to me and i've never had it on my radar so i was like oh hangzhou okay and i just went online and i looked up hangzhou whatever and instantly i cancelled my sign vacation and booked hangzhou so that's how i ended up here that's a little backstory to this location so shout out to erica for sending me that article and shout out to the naked couple <laughs> hashtag shout out to the naked couple because they they're the reason why i'm here um overall my experience so far I don't want to judge the hotel because I got here very late and like I said, I was very cranky. Okay, I was very cranky. I had cramps. It's that time of the month. I was in a bad mood. I was hungry and I felt like someone was trying to scam me at the airport. So I was kind of like alert from that experience. Let me go have a brekkie brekkie. Breakfast ends at 10. So I don't have plans for today. I'm just going to go have breakfast and then come back and probably look up things to do in Hangzhou or whatever. This was just a spontaneous trip. Nothing planned. No itinerary, nothing. It's just vibes. <laughs> vibes! Our scent for this morning is Deep Garden. And you know what? I'm probably going to get side eyes from the folks, but these are not pajamas. This is my satin two-piece set from H&M. I thought you put this in here, but it's making me look from Pignana. Slides from H&M. So I'm literally in an H&M ensemble. I have 
three bags it came as a set and it was just 24 kwa you guys you guys know me i'm the queen of saving money so anyway this is where i put my hair stuff in the first bag the smaller bag has my makeup and the third bag which is the biggest one is my cosmetic bag so it came as a combo and it was just 24 kwa i said baby give it here give it to me so i love this this is the best gel okay Okay, just to look presentable, you know. Who knows? Maybe I'm gonna meet my husband in the lobby. So my mom told me to always look presentable, cause one thing about her, she's sick and tired. My mom said she wants me to find a husband this year. What's wrong with you? You're pretty. You work hard, you're well-mannered, you come from a good family with morals and stuff, so why can't you get a man, sis? I'm like, that's a good question. I don't know what's wrong with you, mama, so stop praying. <laughs> and she told me that she's been praying for me, low-key, to find a husband. I'm like, I would girl. This is the type of mom every girl needs. Pray for me, sis, so I can find a husband. Mm. And she was so serious guys she's serious she says she cannot understand how i'm struggling to find a partner obviously um she's saying all of that because she's talking about some time is flying she needs grandkids i said i knew this is where it's going but go off mama anyway guys let's go to brecky this is how we look. Do you think this is potential finding husband? The face? I think it is. <laughs> oh, my mom is so funny. You might break my heart tonight, but I'm gonna hold it tight. Oh, it feels like, feels like yellow, yellow. It hurts like yellow, yellow, yellow. You have to let me go. You're not seeing things <sighs> yes I'm back in bed I need a 10 minute nap and then I can get my day started <laughs> see you guys I found some cool stuff to do so I, I need to sleep I ate so much breakfast but you know what I needed it <laughs> and I just placed an order for a tripod cuz I forgot my tripod so I'm waiting for that then i'm gonna take a bath and we'll be on the way hey mr robot hey mr robot <laughs> outfit of the day never mind the mess behind me i'm a messy traveler <laughs> anyway this is my outfit of the day i'm wearing my sneakers which were a gift from erica 
um i think in every video i'm wearing something that's a gift from erica that's not that's how you know our friendship the love language is gift giving period and then i'm wearing this baby doll dress which is from h&m and i laced it with a dress which i got from taobao um and of course my baby had to come my new favorite baby honestly i want to tell you guys that baby <laughs> all the outfits i packed are not hitting today because it's that time of the month i'm just bloated everything's getting on my nerves i put on the outfits and i was like you know what i'm not doing this today and i just have my messy bun yeah so anyway love the outfit it's a bit windy outside but you know what this is the only outfit i can wear so she's over strong i'm um, gonna request my cap now see you guys outside it's actually a pretty day outside it's a pretty day it's not as windy as i thought it is um i think my car is here uh, yeah. But yeah, anyway, I was saying that it's not as cold as I thought it would be when I was looking outside the window. So that's even better for me because obviously my baby doll dress is a bit flared. So it was going to be floating in the wind like a butterfly, honey. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we are going to, I found this online, Huben Pedestrian Street. Um, it's a shopping area so obviously whenever I go somewhere I need to find the commercial street again <laughs> and I found it <laughs> and that's where we're going right now don't spit no lies a daughter of the sunshine but every blue moon I can <laughs> Baby, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm looking for normal stores. It looks pretty. Um, It looks pretty, but I don't, I don't know what it's giving. I'm looking for normal stores that I know. Like, you know, normal stores. I haven't seen any foreigners. So. Okay. I think now we're getting to the normal stores. to Victoria's Secret because uh-uh this place is so big you know what i'm on holiday i will vacation but work never stops so i'm so happy that i just submitted outfits and my client is happy i literally worked throughout the week and normally my process takes like a week to two weeks to complete but i was done in three days and i'm so proud of myself no it's because it was eight urgent um so i had to push and i did that 
period <laughs> the grind never stops that's why i was feeling bad when i was buying this fragrance i was like i told myself i'm not gonna buy anything but honestly if i don't spend my money who will mm. irritated because i can see that someone was in here cleaning and i specifically put up the do not disturb sign on my door when i left and i even clicked the do not clean sign on the wall so i'm trying to rationalize how they still saw that and just proceeded to clean the room i don't like people being around my stuff when i'm trying whenever i'm traveling i do not care okay if I'm there for seven days, you're not going to clean my room for seven days. That's just what it is. I do not want people around my stuff. So the fact that I even saw her outside and she asked, can I come and clean? And I said, no. And you waited for me to leave and you still came in. Like, I appreciate you being, you know, diligent and doing your job. But it's like, damn. So what I have to do now is see how far the restaurant is from the hotel so i can know how much time i have to get ready and if i can squeeze in a 10 minute nap one thing about it hd kasana hd wanna papa hd period <laughs> my skin is skinning in hangzhou can i catch a break give a pretty brown girl her space you can keep your better i'ma make a better Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. After the night, I love it. I'll see you guys all night. Bye. Mom and Dad's only daughter. Do I make you proud? Writing my life in lyrics to your like the sound. Seeking approval constantly. I took a nice bubble bath yesterday and guess what i'm about to do that again today so yeah anyway today was quite an eventful day um i'm so happy that i decided to end off my night by going to a jazz bar 
I love jazz so much and I take this from my dad, okay? I literally grew up in a household where my dad, every Sunday, he was just playing jazz music around the clock. So, yeah, a bit of an influence on my daddy. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just so happy that I decided to go to the jazz bar. It felt so good to actually be in a space where there's like live performances and music, the drums. It was just so, oh, music to my soul. I loved it. The restaurant was giving very much ghetto. It was giving ghetto and you know what? I'm actually quite mad at the people who left their stinky ass reviews on TripAdvisor because no, you're lying. What do you mean this is the best restaurant in the whole world? Where have you gone to eat? Like, what do you mean it's the best restaurant in the whole world? Whatever the review was. What was the review? I was so mad. Like, what do you... The aesthetic, the menu, just the vibe and the... It was just not giving. It was not giving what I saw on the reviews, not giving what I saw on freaking TripAdvisor. So it's giving everyone is a liar. Everyone is a liar. There was no bartender, so I couldn't get a cocktail. Hence, I got the Prosecco, and I'm not even a Prosecco person. I don't drink wine, I don't drink champagne. So the only other option was either getting water, which I'm not paying for water, um, juice, I'm sick and tired of drinking juice, or getting Prosecco. So I was like, okay, give me Prosecco. And it's nasty, I didn't even finish it. So honestly, overall, the restaurant is getting three out of 10. One point is for the guy who was assisting me, he was so nice. He felt so bad when those people were so rowdy and noisy and annoying. And I'm like, how do you not understand the other people trying to relax and enjoy the evening? What do you mean? Why are you screaming like a freaking hyena? Like, udra lang. I was just like, girl. See, <laughs> I feel like when you're sober and everyone else is drunk, and now you realize how stupid you look and sound when you're drunk. Cause I, those girls were so beautiful, and I swear, if somebody took a video of them and showed them tomorrow, they would quit drinking. Cause I'm like, what are you doing? Try anyway. They're getting a three out of ten for me. Is a classic case of what I ordered versus what I got because. Anyway, let me go to sleep. It's two o'clock. But I just had to get that off my chest because Beijing could never, Beijing could never. If you're in a restaurant enjoying yourself, baby, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get the soft music, dimmed lights, soft, mature conversations, not people screaming like they're in a freaking haunted house. Like, what's going on? <laughs> anyway, let me go to sleep, jail. My rain sounds, that's how I sleep. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.